Do we have to teach you this lesson, old man? What is up, everybody? Wired here, and I am back once again to talk about a new company going woke and hopefully going broke. It seems they just never learn, and for some reason, everyone's going to attach their horse to this specific cart that happens to be on fire. Hopefully, the Clydesdale horses got out of it okay, but that remains to be seen as I just did a video with the Bud Light boycott going on strong the company is down 17 percent total in sales in money and now uh the makeup brand uh maybelline has hitched their ride to this same horse or cart whatever i don't get it i am absolutely confused but I don't know too much about Maybelline other than it's a makeup brand. It's, I would guess, 95% of their customer base at least has got to be women. And I know from the boycott that happened with Nike that, you know, I think women are more affected by this Lord Voldemort controversy and all the dark wizards that surround uh, Lord Voldemort. And I'm saying that so I don't get banned off YouTube so they can't say I'm transphobic or bigotry, misogyny or... Some, somehow that's not misinjury i don't know but whatever let's read this article fascinating because i cannot see how this person keeps getting brand deals i don't know there's a there's a list i'm gonna pull up on twitter if i can find it after this uh it's a it's a lot this person has made a boatload which hey i guess good for you get your bag and i wouldn't be as nearly as offended by this if it wasn't at the you know, disparaging women and targeting children, which I think is the main problem people have, but also just maybe people don't like the general wokeness. Now Maybelline faces call for a boycott after sponsorship tie up with uh, dark wizard influencer Lord Voldemort. Maybelline is the latest company to be threatened with a public boycott after sponsoring uh, dark wizard uh, media influencer Lord Voldemort, aged 74 or something like that video online promoting its makeup in the maybelline promotion the video posted on tiktok uh voldemort is makeup free before uh she gets glam with eyeshadow lipstick and a nice new sparkly wand the video was posted as voldemort approached uh her 100th day of being a dark wizard it comes as another major uh commercial brand anheuser bush's bud light is dealing with a boycott of its beer due to its partnership with Voldemort. The brand has seen sales slump by 17%, as well as two high-ranking marketing execs on the leave, which I know they say on the leave, I, I would imagine they're fired, but since the company has gone woke, they can't publicly say they're fired. But let's be real here. Let's keep it, you know, in reality. If you have cost your employer 17 percent of their business i mean that is astronomical i know there's some people oh, they don't really care about that and yes it's a big company and i don't this is not going to take them down this 17 percent slump however you can't say that's not going to impact everything they do going forward they're in a tough spot they can't seem to do anything to recover their image shouldn't people take a lesson from this no let's double down let's keep going woke and this one right here, this is going to be on the ladies because I'm going to say, you know, 95, at least 95% of people buying Maybelline products are uh, women. So uh, I got some tweets here. Hey, Maybelline, women have fought for years to get where we are. Women's rights are being taken, uh, being taken back by these men and you support it. Please, all of us born women, let's boycott Maybelline. Uh, yeah, facts, 100%. Clown World says Maybelline has appointed Voldemort as their new brand ambassador. Okay, I just read that. Know that. The latest fools to employ uh, Voldemort are makeup company Maybelline. Another Twitter user wrote, time for boycott Maybelline. Uh, yeah, I just read that one. Mail Online has asked L'Oreal Group, the parent company of Maybelline, for comment. Voldemort, who has 1.8 million followers on Instagram. Oh, wow, how is that fun? Jeez often features herself promoting products for major brands such as recent posts where she sports Nike athletic wear, 
uh, besides not actually having the proper equipment to uh, push sports bras and stuff like that. Uh, and that has led to, you know, people on TikTok burning their bras in protest and then TikTok responding by banning the women who are doing that. Because any criticism of this person, somebody is protecting them somewhere. And uh, also, what is this? And Kate Spade clothing. I'm not sure what that is. I am not really into clothes. So I'm guessing that's obviously another woman's brand. Um, uh, Voldemort is an outspoken activist for Dark Wizards, which I would say no. I would say they're a grifter trying to get their bag, but they haven't actually gone through the process of any type of surgery besides for a little bit of facial surgery, and it remains to be seen if they ever will. I'm going to guess they won't. And you can leave, me, leave a comment down in the comments if you think that will actually end up happening. I really don't. I don't think this person is actually committed to this movement at all. I think they're really just going around in woman face, making a mockery of women, and also trying to target children with this ideology. Now, I could be wrong about that. I could be. While living with her parents during the coronavirus pandemic, no surprise there, uh, Voldemort used the platform to continue discussions on gender. And I wouldn't, uh, again, also, I would not say uh, doing the 365 days of girlhood, not womanhood, girlhood is a discussion on gender. I don't know how this person blew up from it. I would say from, uh, honestly, misogynist. That's what I would think. Because they're honestly, all they're doing is parroting women. That's, that's my take. Uh, Monday, yeah, Bud Light is down 17%. Country music stars such as John Rich, Travis Tritt, and Kid Rock made headlines. They announced they were done with the brand. Pop over to Twitter here real quick. Let's see. Keep thinking how stupid can these people get, and they just keep on proving it day after day and company after company. Maybelline sees boycott. Yeah. More canceling women. No more Maybelline for me. So sick of this woke nonsense. The only thing I could see possibly happening here is if every company goes in on this and then there are no companies to purchase products from. But I guess that wouldn't even work because more companies would crop up from that. And obviously some of them are going to be successful and they might take over the market. And I don't know if you, I don't know, they've got more people than I ever thought they'd get on board with this ideology. But I don't think it's going to be forever. I don't think it, you know, I don't think it can be. There is pushback. There's finally a really good movement against this. And I am, you know, really happy for everybody speaking out again about it. You know, I have a daughter. I have a mother. You know, I don't like to see the erasure of women. Women have fought very, very hard for their rights, you know, to get equal rights, like the right to vote, stuff like that, which has, you know, been established for a while. Or, you know, equal pay, which goes back to, I think, in 1968, uh, there was actually legislation passed where now everyone has to get paid equally regardless of gender regardless of race, anything like that, you know. But I would, I would have said, you know, five years ago that women have all the same rights as men. I really would have. And I guess they still do, but their spaces are being invaded. And I think anyone who has a woman in their life who they love, you, you should, whether you're a mother, you're, you're a wife, your girlfriend, your daughter, your sister, stand up and speak out for them and encourage them to speak out for themselves sick of this every time you turn around it's more woke crap being pushed down our throats and i've had it that's all i got for you right now thank you for listening this long please like the video subscribe to the channel and you know vote with your wallets tell these companies it's enough we're not going to take it that's all i got thanks again talk to you in the next one later